as it was the Great Depression, people were looking for jobs and Washington DC was one of the few places in the country that there were still jobs to be had because of the federal government's presence in the city. So many people were moving to DC from all parts of the country uh, and when they got there they might find a job but realized there wasn't adequate housing for themselves or their families. So many people were living in uh, substandard housing. They were crowded, overcrowded into row homes and apartment buildings. There were um, many accounts of accidents and it was very unsafe in, in many ways. Greenbelt was built as a result of um, really the federal government looking at what was happening in major cities. The administration that built it was called the Resettlement Administration and that was a part of the government that both resettled farmers from arid land um, and as, as, as in addition to that they also moved people out, were trying to move people out of overcrowded living situations. We see that many people are looking to Greenbelt today and studying what worked here. Uh, we hear from many people who are looking at building communities either within cities that efficiently separate pedestrians from vehicles or on the outskirts of cities because these are spaces that, as our populations and cities grow, will need to be managed in such a way that they maximize use of the resources available. Greenbelt's planners intended that the way the community was built from the ground up would relieve some of the issues. One of the things they did was to take a typical uh, rectilinear city block and blow that up into what they called a super block that pushed the roads to the outskirts and they replaced what would have been the typical sidewalks lining the streets with walkways and pathways that wound through these interior green spaces. This had the effect of separating vehicle traffic from pedestrian traffic. It was safer for everyone and they also um, used underpasses that went under many of the roads so that the kids could get to school safely, um, the adults could walk to the grocery store or wherever they needed to go without crossing roads. Um, the, the planners understood that the automobile had arrived, it was here, and the suburbs would need to be planned in this thoughtful way in order for um, everyone to live as safely as possible and to have that separation of vehicular and pedestrian traffic. There's a small shopping area in the center of town um, that's laid out like a plaza. It's one of the earlier shopping centers that was built in the country, and it's accessed by an underpass. So many of the interior walkways and pathways lead to that underpass. And once you walk through that, the little town center is laid out in front of you. And it was separated, so there was parking at the edge of that shopping area, um, but you, it was not um, set up like a typical city block or a, a, a line of stores where you parked right in front and walked into the store. It was designed to be a pedestrian plaza um, that would be accessed by people on foot. <laughs>